What's up everyone, Jimmy from MTV Travel Review here and we are back for another episode of Stupid Simple Bike Chat. For those of you that are new to the channel, I am an enduro bro. I race mountain bikes as fast as possible. Matt is one of the owners of Bootlegger Bikes here in Jeffersonville and another location in St. Albans, Vermont. Matt is also an avid rider and a self-proclaimed bike nerd. So we are going to take super complex bike subjects and dumb them down into a super easy to digest peanut butter and jelly sandwich for you. On today's episode, we are going to talk about one of the greatest controversies in the cycling world. That is flat pedals versus clipless pedals. Dun dun dun! All right, first and foremost, let's start with the differences, shall we? This is an SPD or a clipless pedal. Now it's funny, because it clips into your shoe, but it's called the clipless pedal, so we'll start there. Now my understanding is that back in the day, well before Matt was born, there used to be toe clips, right? Like a toe harness on a pedal. That pedal, was the original. Yeah, pedal cage or toe clip. And then when they removed that, they... And then when they came out with this, they, it was clipless. So even though it's clipped in, even though you're clipped it's in, clipless. it's clipless. Are you confused yet? Good. So the clipless pedal was originally invented sometime in the 70s by some company called Look. It was kind of a big deal, but didn't really get famous until the 90s. I believe 1993 is when Shimano came out with what you're seeing here, which is the SPD pedal, Shimano Dynamic Pedaling. Is that what it was? No. SSPD. So Shimano Pedaling Dynamics. 1993 was the year. It was a cold winter. So when Shimano came out with this, I think it's literally pretty much the same system that you see today, right? It is. Not much has changed. They it did is. a really good job the first time. So basically what it is, this is a pedal that goes on your bicycle onto the crank arm. You then have a shoe, exhibit A. On the bottom there's what's called a cleat. This pedal snaps into this cleat and holds you onto the pedal. This gives you connectivity with the bike when riding, when pedaling, when sprinting, all of it you're locked in when you want to release. It's a super handy system that you just twist your ankle and pop free and go on with your day. Doesn't always work that way. Sometimes you get stuck and fall over into a bunch of briar bushes, but that's the general idea. There are other versions of this we should say, such as the egg beater or the crank brother pedal. Similar idea. I mean, there, there's, I don't know, four, five, six different clipless style pedals out there. SPD is a Terry, trademarked, trademarked. Uh, design, so they'll license this design to manufacturers that will also make an SPD pedal. There are a bunch of them out there. But then there are, there are pedal companies or parts companies like Crank Brothers that, that came up with their own clipless design. It's called the Egg Beater. Uh, Time, was, Time has, you know. has a clipless pedal that also uses uh, their own design, but they're all fundamentally the same concept. You have a cleat on your shoe, you lock into the pedal. When you want to release, you turn your foot. Gotcha. Now on the opposite end of the spectrum, we have what is called the flat pedal. I assume it's called that because it's a, it's a flat pedal. <laughs> flat, uh, flat and or, and or platform pedal. Platform, another good term. <clears throat> I have a pair of platform shoes at home. <laughs> <laughs> so the flat pedal is as it seems. I mean, this is pretty much your, your basic flat pedal. The big thing with these and the way they lock you in are these devilish little pegs. So you don't have to use the pegs on the plastic version of this. There's not gonna be pegs. You just stand on it and pedal. But with most of the more advanced flat pedals, you have these metal pegs and then you have a similar shoe to this but it's gonna have like a softer rubber on the bottom, right? So that it sticks sticks yeah, into the shoe almost. Typically, and and you know, obviously it'll be flat on the bottom. Pretty straightforward. I have battle scars all over my shins from these, but we won't get into that just yet. So let's talk about the differences. So the biggest difference that you'll hear people talk about flats versus clipless or clipped in pedals is in my opinion, safety and confidence. When you're on a flat pedal, 
it's very easy to eject off of the bike. If you need to put a foot down, if you need to bail off of the bike, it's pretty straightforward. You just lift your foot and it comes off. SPD or clipless pedals on the other hand, it tends to get a little trickier. When you wanna unclip, you have to twist your ankle. That doesn't always work in your favor depending if you're flying off of a ramp or you're in a tricky section and just can't get the right angle, sometimes you can't unclip. And that takes away a lot of people's confidence. So a lot of early riders, a lot of newer riders, prefer flat pedals, right? Yeah, and it's typically what we recommend to folks when they're just getting into riding. It's a new to them bike, they haven't ridden since they were a kid possibly. Riding a flat pedal is, is typically the safest way to get, to get back into it. Yeah, easier to bail, less intimidating. Now that said, what are the benefits of being clipped into your bike, right? What does the clipless pedal give us that the flat pedal does not? First thing for me is just, I like being connected with the bike, right? I race enduro, it's a lot of fast pace, bouncing off rocks, you're all over the place, and I like to know 100% that my feet are locked into the bike and I'm not gonna have a foot go flying off in the middle of a rock garden. That is one of the fears with these. If you slip off that pedal and these wonderful little metal pegs dig themselves into your shin ever they, so gently, they will. There, there's a lot of blood and a lot of carnage behind that. So I like being locked in and feeling more confident with a clipped in pedal. There's also the power conversation. I'm not an expert on this, but from what I understand, for everyday riding, for power, there's really not much of a difference. Right, I but agree with that. But if you're doing high power sprinting and, and real power work, there is some benefit to being clipped in because you only not only get power on the downstroke, but you also get power in lifting your foot back up as it comes around, right? Yeah, I, I think, you know, if you're at a, obviously a professional level mm -hmm. performing, especially in the, the road or gravel side of things, I think there's probably a noticeable advantage there. They say, if you do the research, it's like 15 to 20%. Now, aside from just talking about power in your pedal stroke, one of the biggest controversies or uh, topics of debate is the added benefit for bike control when it comes to being clipped in. A lot of people say that if you're, for example, bunny hopping, or doing any sort of trickery on your bicycle and you're clipped into a pedal that you're cheating. And that's because, because you're clipped in, I can actually use my legs to pull the bike up as, as opposed to just using my form and technique to jump the bike. So if I'm on a flat pedal, for example, and I want a bunny hop, which is lifting your front wheel and then your back wheel to lift the bike into the air. On a flat pedal, you really have to use your weight, shift down, pull the wheel up and use momentum to jump the bike. On a clipless pedal, you can kind of use your legs to just jump the bike up and it takes out some of the root of that technique. So yeah, there is something to be said. I will say, when I started riding, I rode BMX, I was on flat pedals, and I always recommend that if you're learning to like jump or do anything on a bike, that you should learn on flats, so that you do learn the, the, the raw technique and the motion to do this. Yeah, I mean, I think it's along the same lines as the conversation around learning how to mountain bike on a hardtail versus a full suspension. You learn a lot of body English and techniques that, mm -hmm. that you might not otherwise, so. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't dispute that. So anyway, there is some controversy as far as technique goes, but really, it, whatever your preference is. I always recommend people start on flats. Again, if you're new to bikes and whatnot, and if you're learning technique, I think it's a good thing. But I'm also diehard clipless. I don't run flats anymore. Some people are only flats, some people are only clipless, some people go back and forth. For me, I enjoy clipless pedals. That's what I run on all of my bikes, road, gravel, mountain, do you, what do you run on your bike? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm along those same lines. You know, when these when these came out and, and got popular, I, I jumped on it and uh, I've not gone back. I mean, I ride flat pedals on my fat bike because of the, the footwear I use. And I'm, you know, I'm out there just kind of having a good time on my bike in the winter. I'm not really looking for a whole lot of performance, but it's the only bike I ride flats on. Uh, every other bike that I ride is a clipless style pedal. There's two pieces for me that I like about it. One is, the, the biggest one for me is that, you know, I can position this cleat on the shoe exactly where I like the pedal to be when I clip in. And I'm very particular about where I like 
my foot on the pedals. So it's a no brainer. I clip in and, and my foot is where I like it on the pedal. There's no thinking about it. There's no moving my foot around trying to find the right position. It's there. What I find with flats is I'm always picking my foot up, jockeying it around, trying to find that, that very particular Good position point. that I like. Um, I really struggle with that. And it's, it's the primary reason I don't ride flats. And then the second piece for me is, is just that connectivity. Like I'm so used to riding clipped into the pedals that I, I feel, I feel naked if I ride flats. I mm -hmm. don't feel, I don't feel safe. I feel safer clipped in as where most folks might say they feel less safe clipped in. Yeah. You know, that's what's comfortable for me and what I, what I like. That's true. That's a good <clears> point. <throat> what other differences between flats and clipless? Well, let's talk about price. What are, are they generally the same price? Are they, how, how much does that vary? Yeah, I mean, they're, I would say they're generally the same. You know, th this, this is a pretty expensive aluminum uh, so flat shiny. pedal. Shiny. Um, you know, this, this pedal's, I don't know, I think it's 150 bucks mm -hmm. or 170 bucks. Almost everybody makes uh, both an alloy or an aluminum and, and a composite pedal. The composite pedals generally are, are similar engineering of the axle and bearings, similar studs, but the, the platform or um, you know the, the aluminum part itself is, is a composite mm -hmm. and that makes it much less expensive and they're generally 50 to 65 bucks, I would say. And then, you know, SPDs range, they're probably in that 60 or $70 range mm -hmm. and they, you know, they go up, the sky's yeah. the limit, they go up from there. Uh, the other thing, obviously, is just the ease of use, right? If you have flats on your bike, whatever shoe you had on, Matt alluded to this, whatever shoe, you can just get on your bike and ride. Whereas clipless, you have to have a clipless shoe. And I'm sure there's a million people that have been there where you get to the trailhead and you're ready to go with your buddies and you forgot your shoes. It's not really an enjoyable experience to ride on clipless pedals without clipless shoes. So that is, is one not. slight flaw. And there are more moving parts, right? You can, you can pop screws on that thing. The springs can break. Um, your cleats can get messed up. These screws, I mean, there's just more moving pieces, right? Yes. But typically, pretty reliable. I rarely have issues with my clipless pedals. So that pretty much wraps it up. It's, it is a major controversy. You'll find some people that are diehard flats again or diehard clipless, but either way, as long as you're on a bike and have a good time, that's what matters. Again, we recommend starting with flats if you're new to cycling, get familiar with the bike, how it works, get comfortable. And then if you want to make the transition over to clipless to step your game up and try something new. As always, thank you for following along. If you like this video, push the little thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We're gonna keep cranking these out as much as we can and the subjects are gonna get much more in depth. So we appreciate you following along. Keep riding, guys. Little Drummer Boy. We're back with Little Drummer Boy. Cha-cha-cha. Mike, don't know who Mike is. Mike? Steve? <laughs> <laughs>